This video is stressing me out because I have no idea what I want to talk about and I tried writing a script and I gave up because I didn't like it. I have some notes but I'm stressed. But it's a good thing that I have this book to help me. I don't think I've ever talked about it on the channel but I'm a really big Dan and Phil fan. So you can see from the shirt, I started watching their videos with my best friend in like 2014 when I was I think like 15 years old. We went to Tatnoff and we met Dan and Phil there and it was amazing, of course. We got to hug them and everything and they got to sign my book. <laughs> this book, the amazing book, is not on fire. As you can see. We also went to Interactive Introverts together and my friend that I'm talking about is the editor of my video, so... What's up? In this video, I'm going to talk about You Will Get Through This Night by Daniel Howell. I just finished reading it. It took me a little a little while, but I tried to read like as fast as I could. The book starts off talking about understanding mental health. What is it? The stigma around it, introducing what the book does and what it's about. So the book is broken up into three parts. The first part of the book is called This Night. And this night is to help you get through a mental crisis. So it gives you like exercises that you can do to calm yourself down, like abdominal breathing, which is like breathing from your abdomen practicing mindfulness. When you have thoughts come into your head, you know, acknowledging them, knowing that they're okay, and kind of letting them just kind of flow by without it like impacting you. Mindfulness is also being aware of like your senses and like what's around you. So like if you go for a walk and you don't wear headphones and you just pay attention to the sounds and how you feel and the scenery and stuff like that's being mindful that's what the first part is just little exercises that you can do when you're not feeling well because your mental health is really affecting you part two is called tomorrow and tomorrow is kind of like these like basic parts of your life that you should make sure that you're like keeping track of and like taking care of yourself that impact your mental health right it talks about activity so what you're doing with your time, right? Whether that's work or things that you need to get done or just how you're spending your free time. And then environment or where you live um, and your safe place if you have one. Sleep, so making sure you're getting enough sleep. That has an impact on your physical and mental health. But sometimes we think about things only impacting our physical health when really they have a really strong impact on our mental health as well. As well as food, making sure that you're eating enough and that you're eating healthy and not worrying about eating perfectly just making sure that you're supplying your body with what it needs movement which is exercise and it doesn't have to be like extreme exercise it's like it could be like going for a walk every day or whatever um, and how that has a big impact on your mental health as well as your physical health and social life talks about just making sure you have like healthy relationships in your life and what you can do if you feel like your social life is not too great part two tomorrow is like your fundamental kind of needs like as a human that I think sometimes we can like push aside I mean I know that a few of these things you know maybe I don't put as much effort into but after reading this book I'm gonna try really hard to do that so that I can have better mental health because it's so so important part three is the days after that and this is where it gets like really deep and it talks about a lot of kind of things that like you deal with um, and that impact your mental health on a deeper level than just the necessary things. The first section is what am I thinking and it talks about you know how the things you think affect the way you feel and how you have control over how that impacts you. Kind of talking back to mindfulness when you have worries it's good to acknowledge them and know they're there. The next part of part three is rules and regulation and that's kind of these ideas that we have in our head about who we need to be and what we need to achieve and what unrealistic goals we set for ourselves and knowing that you don't always have to be happy or you don't always have to be the very best at what you're doing and it's okay for there to be ups and downs because that's normal and that's how things should be. Next is elephants and skeletons. Just knowing that if you have to hide your identity that can be dragging your mental health down. So the next section, leave it to the pros, talks about therapy, how reaching out, talking to someone that you can trust and who knows what they're doing because they were educated um, in that field uh, can really help you. The next part is working with emotions, 
This talks about all different kinds of emotions like anger, jealousy, sadness, just how to deal with those emotions. Living your truth. So I really liked this section because living your truth is about what do you value and what what gives you value and it's in all different aspects of your life right it's kind of where you derive your happiness from so you can derive it from multiple places so maybe you derive it from having a close relationship with family or maybe you derive it from having your dream job like uh, if you want to write a book and then that would be something like you writing your book and working on it would be something that would give you happiness because it's something that you value in a dream that you have um, and it can be the same in like uh, friendships and a whole a bunch of different things. So that's living your truth and making sure that you are putting time into what makes you happy. Um, because sometimes we can feel so busy with our lives or we can just be losing a lot of time procrastinating on YouTube and stuff like that. But just making sure that you find time to live your truth and to work towards your dreams because that will make you happier. The last section of the book end of part three is attitude of gratitude and that's talking about being thankful and how being thankful makes you happy even if we have things we can think um we can think of the negatives you know we tend to focus on negatives o over positives and how sometimes we just need to be thankful for the things we have because sometimes we don't notice the things we have even if you are in like a very bad place and it's hard to find things to be thankful for Thinking of things can help you feel better as well. And that's kind of what that section talks about. I read it one time through and I did pick up a lot, definitely. But I think that I'm going to go back to and kind of focus on different sections and just kind of take it in more. Because there's only so much that you can pick up from one read of a 300, I don't know, like 320 page book. This book is about taking control of your mental health, not letting it control you because you do have a say in how you're feeling and you can work to feel better and be happier. And this book gives hope. It's so good, so helpful. Mental health is important, so you should read it. Even if you don't like Dan and Phil, you should read it. But especially if you like Dan and Phil, you should read it. Cause Dan has like a bunch of little like funny things that he talks about. Like, one of my favorite Dan videos is the panic alarm one, where he talks about how he pressed the panic alarm at this store that he worked at. And there's like a little reference to it in this book, and I was like, oh my god, that's one of my favorite videos. Hell yeah. There's a bunch of funny little bits in here where Dan like wrecks himself because he always does that. And just little like anecdotes to videos and other stories that he hasn't told. So it's pretty cool. If you read it, let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments. What, what were your favorite parts? If you guys like Dan and Phil too, you know, let me know in the comments. Let's geek over them together. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.